Introducing the new StreetSmartParts.com, your one-stop source for McNeilis and Oshkosh parts. One convenient site now lets you view, price, and order the parts you need, and download parts and service manuals. StreetSmartParts.com also offers a full line of competitor parts that meet or exceed OEM standards. To access the website, go to StreetSmartParts.com and click on the icon for the type of parts you're looking for. You are now on the home page of the parts store. From this page, you can log on if you have a user account, or just start searching for a part, even if you have not established an account. To set up a user account, click on the To Set Up a New Account Click Here link, and follow the instructions to set up your account. If you have a part number or a part description, you can start your search by entering either into the text box in the upper left corner of the screen. You can also browse our various OEM and All Makes Parts catalogs to find the part you are looking for. Also available on the home screen are a link to view your account information and favorites, a link to find a parts and service location near you, a link to a list of downloadable catalogs and brochures, and links to our privacy policy. Click FAQs to quickly get answers to questions you may have about the website or ordering parts from Street Smart Parts. When you enter a part number or description in the search field on the home page, you will sometimes notice a quick click menu window appear below the area where you are typing. If your number or description matches what is displayed in this box, you can click on it to go directly to your part. If this window does not appear, then you can enter your value and click the magnifying glass to search for it. The next screen will either take you to a list of parts that match your search criteria or directly to the detailed information of the item you are looking for. If a list of parts is displayed, you can browse through the list to narrow your search using photos of the parts, if they are available, to help with identification. At the top of this view, a summary of your current search will appear, and it will offer to execute the search by keyword or part number, depending on what the original search was for. You have the option to group the search results by categories if you wish. When you have found your part, just click on the image or the description to go to the part detail, or you can now add the part to the shopping cart. Once you have clicked on a part, the part detail screen will be displayed. Remember that the path you have navigated is mapped at the top of the screen on the home page, and at any time during your search, you can click your browser's back button to go back to the previous page. This detail screen will provide you with detailed information on the part, showing an image or multiple images of the part if available. You'll notice a Notes tab that will provide you with additional item information. There is also a Competitive Cross-Reference tab that provides other reference item numbers. If there are any related products linked to the part, they will be displayed under the Notes. This window provides you with a description of the part, as well as the weights and measurements of the shippable product. Note, these dimensions are based on the shippable size of the part, and not the actual dimensions in most cases. Sometimes there may be specific information on dimensions included in the Notes tab. If you need further assistance with dimensions or any other aspects of the item that is not seen in this view, you can call a customer support representative for further details. A valuable feature of this page is the ability to email a link to this part information to anyone who may need it. Now enter the quantity of parts you wish to order. Add the part to your shopping cart using this button. Once you have selected the Add to Cart button, a small pop-up window will provide you with status and pricing information if you are logged into the site. Another way to search for parts is by selecting one of the Quick Path buttons that link to our parts catalogs. You can search for all makes of parts by clicking a choice under the Non-OEM Parts section. You can navigate through the categories and view lists of parts in the same way as conducting a search on the home page. On certain categories, you will see a model filter at the top of the page. 
that can narrow your category search to a specific original equipment manufacturer. At times, you may also be directed to images of entire parts assemblies in order to give you a better perspective of where a particular part is used or if companion parts may be needed. These parts images will direct you to the Electronic Parts Catalog, or EPC. EPC functionality is covered later in this tutorial. The largest area of the parts store is the next search area, which links to the library of OEM Oshkosh and McNeilis manuals. This interactive experience allows the user increased control and flexibility when looking through catalogs, identifying assemblies, and when researching to find the correct parts in the right applications. To navigate to the EPC homepage, start by selecting the correct product line under the OEM Parts section of the homepage. You will be redirected to a different screen called the Electronic Parts Catalog, where you can select from a variety of ways to find the parts you're looking for. Before you begin, you can expand the screen to full and select a viewing format of your preference. Now select a model of body to find the catalog for your specific unit. Then select the model line you are looking for. View the list of models and select the correct model based on description and the date range of manufacture. You can also search for the catalog that matches your body serial number. Enter your chassis VIN, the last six digits of your chassis VIN, or your body serial number into the search box to find either a generic or specific catalog for your unit. The generic catalog will encompass all of the parts to your unit as well as other units within that product line. The specific serialized catalog contains only those items that were on your unit when it was originally built. You can search by either individual part number or description within all manuals in the EPC and be directed to the full catalog for your particular body. Enter your item number or description and click the magnifying glass. You will see a list of numbers that match your criteria in the upper pane of the web page. You can click Select Part or double click on the specific item you are looking for, and a list of all the manuals that contain that particular item will be displayed on the bottom pane of the page. You can also go directly to the part details to add the part to your shopping cart. When you have identified the parts manual and or assembly where the item is contained, you can click Go to Assembly to see the illustration and parts list that contains the part. You can also look through the library of other documents that are pertinent to your body, such as technical service bulletins, service manuals, operator's manuals, decal charts, and lubrication charts. Search by a specific document number or by part of a description to see what documents are available. You can also peruse the list to find a document. Once you find a document, you can download the PDF. If you have an account and are logged in, you can also search a catalog for a specific piece of equipment you have added to your My Fleet preferences. A listing of the equipment you have selected within your fleet will be displayed. You can name each piece of equipment with your own name. Typically, a fleet unit number would be good to use in this spot. Just double-click on the unit of interest and you will be directed to the catalog that covers that particular unit. Finally, you can look for information you have bookmarked from previous visits to access the parts more quickly and easily. Bookmarks can be created at all levels, including parts, assemblies, categories, manuals, and more. Select what group of bookmarks to view, and then double-click on the bookmark of your choice to be taken directly to that page view. Once you have opened a parts manual, it will be displayed in the page layout you have selected showing either an interactive, hot-spotted set of images of the unit, or a list of major assemblies, as well as a list of the separate assemblies themselves. You can perform a part search from this page view, and it will default to search in only the manual you are looking in. You could also search all manuals if you wish. To find a group of assemblies in the hot-spotted images, 
simply roll over the item and click. If you are looking at the list view of assemblies, you can navigate to find your assembly group, much like when you browse for files in your computer. It will then bring up a list of assemblies used in that specific area of the unit. Assemblies can be viewed either in list or thumbnail views. You can also perform a search on the assemblies within the manual or assembly group by entering in the assembly number or part of the assembly description. Once you have the needed group of assemblies in the opposite pane, you can select the assembly you are interested in. When you have decided on which assembly to view, you will be directed to an interactive web page that will look and feel like a parts page from a traditional manual. If you wish to go back to the Assemblies page, you can click Back to Manual. This page has a feature that allows you to create a PDF of the parts illustration and parts list that you can either save to your computer or print a hard copy that will be formatted to fit nicely into your paper parts catalog. Again, you can add this assembly to your bookmarks for easier reference in the future. The illustration is interactive with capability to zoom either by using the zoom tool or by double clicking anywhere on the illustration. By clicking and dragging on the illustration, you can magnify the area of the illustration you wish to see. You can reset the illustration to the original view by clicking the reset button. You will also notice that if you hover over key numbers for some parts, they are hot spotted and will highlight the corresponding item in the parts list. The area at the bottom of the illustration pane will allow you to view other illustrations, if they exist, for the chosen assembly. In the parts list pane, you can sort the parts list by selecting any of the column headers. A blue exclamation icon means that there has been a note added to the part or the part has a reference to a subassembly attached to the detail, or has a reference to a superseded part number. Once you open up the detail on the part, you can view this information. You can check the selection boxes on the left side of the screen to earmark those items for addition into your shopping cart. Then, add all checked items to the cart by clicking Add Checked to Order. The Part Detailed Information contains all of the information for a selected part. This window provides you with a description of the part, as well as the weights and measurements of the shippable product. Note, these dimensions are based on the shippable size of the part, and not the actual dimensions in most cases. Sometimes there may be specific information on dimensions included in the Notes tab. If you need further assistance with dimensions or any other aspects of the item that is not seen in this view, then you can call a customer support representative for further details. A customer who is logged in will also see their price in this view. This is the actual price for the customer who is logged in, not a retail price. You can also change the quantity of the item you wish to order. The quantity that is shown is a quantity based off of usage within the assembly you were previously viewing. You can also bookmark the detail of any item and add it to your bookmark list. You will notice a Notes tab that will provide you with additional item information. A See Also tab on selected parts contains a link to additional subassembly information. Any parts that have been superseded will have a link on the right-hand side of the screen which will take you to the newest part. Any parts that may be related to the item are displayed at the bottom of the pane and can be added to the shopping cart as well. You can either close out of this detail view or you can add the part to your shopping cart in the quantity you desire. Note: The list on the left shows all parts that were checked within the current assembly. You can switch the detail information between these parts by clicking anywhere in the side boxes or cancel a part by clicking the red X. 
StreetSmartParts.com is one of many valuable tools we provide to support our customers. And we still offer the great sales and support team you're accustomed to. Call 888-686-7278 to speak directly with one of our experienced customer support representatives. Buy once. Buy right. Buy smart. Street Smart Parts and Service.